morning guys welcome back to my channel uh, this morning I thought I'd do a little video about stalking rabbits for photography um, rabbits as you know are quite wary uh, the world's against them dogs, people, buzzards birds of prey stoats, weasels, they all attack them so they're always on the guard but it is possible to get some good close ups all you need is a bit of field craft uh, the essence of which is quietness and slowness rabbits can see but they don't see details so if you break the horizon it's something different in their environment that they know very well um, if you stand on a twig and it breaks it's bad luck but uh, nine times out of ten they'll scurry off uh, so the idea is to try and spot some from a distance and then creep up very very slow preferably without breaking the horizon um, not always easy to do but worth it um, I've got a lot of camo gear on at the moment you don't really need it I've got some great shots in the past without any camo gear or specialist gear just using silence and uh, slowness to get me within shooting distance of uh, the rabbits so uh, hopefully this morning we'll spot a few and I'll see if I can get some shots um, in the past I've actually had young rabbits playing around my feet that's as, as close as you can get if you don't move not always get a chance for a photo because if you move you or if you move too quick you'll spot the difference they're always worth a try anyway let's see how we go so the main thing There's one guys on the left. Now I think this one on the left, just behind that twig in the centre of the picture now, he sat up, he's actually seen me or he's seen something that's made him alert. He's not moving, he's just listening and looking. So I've got to just keep still and quiet until he starts moving again. Now we've got a bit of movement now. Well, I think it was the guy that was sat up, he's moved out into the middle of the field now. Problem with it now is we've got a bloody magpie there. And everyone knows how wary they are and they give off alarm calls, so I'll give him a few minutes to beg her off somewhere else. Because he'll only uh, let the rabbits know that we're here. Unfortunately, this is the bracken that I've got to work through to get to a place where I can get a decent shot in. So you can imagine trying to get through this without making any noise.
thing I will say when you do go out on these little sorties trying to catch them at check all your gear before you start numerous times in the past I've come out without an SD card in the camera I've come out without spare batteries I've forgot my binoculars for wrecking all sorts of little problems uh, microphone's not working and all manner of things so check your gear the night before that way you won't disappoint yourself you don't want to be let down on a great moment and it does happen we all do it but you'll end up kicking yourself all week so just keep in mind check your, check your gear the night before then no upsets so there you go guys um, I hope this has given you a few tips for getting closer to rabbits and uh, maybe getting some nice pictures of them go out have a try remember silence and slowness um, and you'll hopefully you'll get some good shots uh, if you've liked this video please give us a thumbs up on uh, my youtube channel and subscribe if you if you feel like you uh, want to follow us there'll be more videos to follow in the future anyway get out there have a good time stay safe